Take 15 minutes to rest so you'll be refreshed when he arrives. Touch up your makeup. For the 5.30 a.m. shake up you've gotten used to, buff your nails too frail, to scratch past a punch. Learn to be a good wife, a 1955 wife, a wife rife with strife, who smiles when he hits. Your button and goes mute when he pulls your string. At the time of his arrival, eliminate all noise. Become a crafty seamstress. Sew your chops closed. Stitch those lips together. Learn to talk through pillows. Don't complain if he's home late for dinner, or even if he stays out all night. He is hooking up with your best friend, who knew the mighty oak would bend in that direction. You were playing house. He was playing around. Mom calls on the phone and says, If you knew how to cook his dinner, if you were thinner, if you brought him lunch, if you could take a punch, if you could get over being you, and if you could get past the grimness of your own sight, then perhaps my daughter, he might come home at night. Don't ask him questions about his actions. Don't ask about the duct tape. Don't ask about the ring. Don't ask questions about his actions when reactions prove deadly. Remember, he's the master of the house. And you, honey bunny, are just along for the ride. Take pride in your domesticity. Save wishbones just in case he cracks a rib, stealing back what he thinks is already his. And when you're gone, he'll use that rib to build a new woman. A 1965 woman uh, won't burn the chocolate chip cookies, dainty lady. A super wife. A crazy pill popping end her life at 50 wife. A woman that you could never be. Over the cooler months of the year, prepare a fire for him to unwind by. Get him in the habit of drinking by the fire, so that when you've had enough of his misplaced ire, the murder will look like an accident. Try to make your home a place where you can face yourself each morning through morning. Self-made widow. In the future, stay safe and away from men who like their women in a glass case. A good wife always knows her place. <laughs>